Hey lovies, welcome back to another recipe. And on today's recipe, I'm going to be sharing this requested video on how to make your meat pie dough without adding baking powder. And I'm going to be sharing two different methods of making your meat pie doughs without baking powder. So let's get started. So right here are the ingredients I'm going to be using for the filling. I have 500 grams minced beef, one scotch bonnet pepper, one Irish potatoes, one onion, one carrot, and five spring onion, which is optional, but I love the taste of it. I have some thyme, salt, curry powder, beef stock powder and two tablespoons of flour which I'm going to be using as a thickener. So right here I will go ahead and start chopping my Irish potatoes, carrot, my scotch bonnet pepper, onion and all the other ingredients. And also I'm going to be sharing two recipes on how you can bake your meat pies with oven and also without oven okay so guys stay tuned as we go through every process of this recipe so after prepping all my ingredients i'll get a pot in the fire adding just about a tablespoon of oil and i'm going to be stir frying my onion so into my onion, I'll add in just a teaspoon of dried thyme and I will stir this up together. I will also go ahead and add in my 500 grams minced beef and I'm going to be cooking the beef until it changes its color from pink into a cooked color which is the one we have right here. So right now, I will go ahead and add in my scotch bonnet peppers. And I will also add in my beef stock powder, curry powder, and salt to taste. And I also went ahead and add in some nutmeg powder, which is totally optional, but I love the taste of nutmeg powder and my filling of meat pie. So after stirring this together, I'll go ahead and add in my Irish potato, spring onion and carrot. So I'm going to stir this up together and I will add in enough water to cover up all of them and allow it to cook until it's totally cooked, which will take me about 15 to 20 minutes. So right now, I'll go ahead and mix my two tablespoon flour and with some water, which I'm going to be using as a thickener for my meat pie filling. So I will stir this up together and I will transfer it into my cooked meat pie filling. So when I stir this up together, I'm just going to allow it to cook for further three to five minutes so it will thicken up properly. And I will set this aside to cool down while I start with making my meat pie dough. So guys, this is the first step. I'm going to be taking two cups of flour, which is equivalent to 300 grams into a clean bowl. And I'm going to be using 150 gram cold butter and four tablespoon water so i will cut the butter into a tiny piece and i will use my clean dry hand to mash the butter with the flour until it becomes crumbs so right here you can see i'm not adding salt reason is that i'm using salted butter but if you're not using salted butter or margarine you can go ahead and add in just a pinch of salt so I'm going to be adding my water bit by bit because I don't want my dough to be very soft. And at this point, you can see the consistency of my dough. It looks like a play dough. So I'm not going to be kneading this. I'm just going to use my hands to fold this together, which will take me just about 30 to 40 seconds to do that. 
and I'll go ahead and wrap this with my cling film and put this in my fridge to sit for about 30 minutes so guys for the second method I'm going to add in again two cups of flour which is 300 grams into a clean bowl and I'm going to be using two egg yolk without the egg white and I'm going to be using 100 grams cold salted butter and I'm also going to use my hands to work on it until it turns into like a breadcrumb texture and I'll add in my two egg yolk so I will mix this up together And when I'm done mixing, I'll go ahead and start adding my water bit by bit as I go ahead and fold the flour into a dough. So I'm not also going to be kneading this dough here. I'm just going to use my hand to fold it carefully as I want my meat pie to come out flaky and nice, okay? So I'll just go ahead and fold the dough without kneading it for just about less than a minute and that's my second dough ready of which both of the dough was made without adding any baking powder okay so guys i'm going to wrap this up with my cling film also and put this in the fridge to rest for about 30 minutes So right here, this is the pan I'm going to be using to bake my meat pies with that oven. I just went ahead to grease it with some butter and line it up with some pavement sheet of which you can also sprinkle in some flour on it and use it to bake. So this is the first dough, the one we did with just water and butter. So I will go ahead and cut my dough into two and I will mold it into a ball. So after molding it into a ball, I will go ahead and flatten the dough. You want to make sure you have some flour on your work surface so it will be easy for you to take off when you're done adding your filling. So I will go ahead and use a round circular shape to cut out um, the size of the dough I'm going to be using for this meat pie. And when I'm done with this process, I will take off the excess dough and fold it up so I can use it to make more meat pies. So right now, I will go ahead and whisk one egg, which I'm going to be using to seal up the dough. And I'll go ahead and add in one tablespoon full of the filling into the meat pie dough. And I will use my hand to make sure I seal it properly. And after sealing, I will go ahead and use my fork to seal it up again and also give it that nice meat pie shape. And I will use my um, edges of my fork to maintain this meat pie to make it look more nice and presentable. So this is it and I'm going to go ahead and make more so you can see the process. So guys, thank you so, so much for clicking on this video. If it's your first time on this channel, you are so, so welcome to Lydia Isaac TV. Please, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to click on that like button. And also, if you've not subscribed to join the family, please do go ahead and click on that red subscribe button. Click on the bell icon that goes with it so you will never miss any uploads from this channel. And also, don't forget to drop your questions on the comment section as I'm always there reading through your comments. So right now, I'll go ahead and brush in some whisk egg on the egg to give it some nice egg wash. And I'm going to be baking that one on my oven. So right here, I'm going to be using my pot to bake this meat pie. And I've gone ahead to add in some salt into my pot and I'm going to be using my stove rack to lift the baking tray of the meat pies from the bottom of the pot. 
and I'm going to cover the pot and preheat it for about five minutes on the lowest heat of my stove. So this is the second dough, which was the one I did with the two egg yolk. I'll sprinkle in some flour on my surface and I'm going to also divide the dough into two parts. So right now, I'll go ahead and make the dough into a round ball and I'm going to use my rolling pin to spread out the dough. So for this one right here, I'm going to be making a different round shape of meat pie which I'm using my round cutter to cut out the dough. After cutting the dough, I will take off the excess dough and save it for future use. So I'll use my rolling pin to spread it out a little bit as I want it to be a little bit bigger. So right now I'll add in a tablespoon of the meat pie filling and I will cover it up and use my round um, sealer to seal this dough properly. And I'm also going to be using the excess dough for more meat pies. So right now I'm going to be showing you how to do this when you don't have your round sealer. Of which if you want to get one, you can get this from Amazon, which I do have the link on my description box. So right now I'm going to be showing you how to get this round shape though when you don't have the sealer which is very very easy. So I've added in my meat pie filling and some egg wash to seal it and I'm going to use my hands to make sure I seal this up properly and when I'm done sealing this with my hands I will use my spoon edges to make sure I give it that nice um, shape to make it look well neat and I'm going to be using this my pin which I got from my face brush yeah so I'm going to use it to seal it up properly of which you can see this looks very very good also without using the sealer and for me this looks more beautiful than the one I use my sealer in making so I also use my spoon edges to seal this up properly and that's it. Yeah, that's what the pin look like. I took it off from um, my face brush that I bought so I can use it to seal my dough. So I'll use my egg wash to brush out the dough and I'm going to be putting this in my preheated pot. And I'm going to be baking this on the lowest heat of my pot for about 50 minutes to one hour and this was about 55 minutes later my meat pie was already ready and I went ahead and brushed in some butter to make the dough more flaky and delicious so guys this was the end result of the one I baked using the stove and the bigger ones was the one I used with my oven so guys, take a look at how this meat pie looks and I tell you this meat pie was so 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 delicious. So guys, thank you so much for watching till I see you on my next recipe. Do have a lovely day, do have a beautiful day, bye bye.